back to my channel. As we all know, David Easton was arrested a couple weeks ago for pistol whipping a gentleman by the name of James. Now, Janelle left David that day. She put on her Facebook, she made a post saying her kids were okay, she was okay, and that she was done with this relationship and she was gonna try to move forward. Now, that was not the case. She went back to David about two days later. Um, people were, I, to be quite honest, I was shocked that you know she went back to him so quickly after saying that she was done with him after David pistol whipped this gentleman who was there to help Janelle and after he'd done it in front of the kids. Kaiser, Marissa, and Inslee all witnessed this take place. Um, I had one of the guys on my channel, the partner of the guy that David pistol whipped, I done an interview with him. We'll be doing another interview later on. And I will also be talking to the actual guy that David pistol whipped after their court date. One of the things that a lot of people are questioning is when is CPS going to step in? With this specific incident where the kids witnessed David Eason pistol whip someone and he had a loaded weapon in his hand and if it would have went off, someone could have been hurt, possibly the kids, when is CPS going to step in, right? A lot of people have asked that question. People are also asking the question is, what does Nathan think about this? What does Nathan have to say about this? And Nathan was pretty quiet. He's actually, he actually doesn't really say much on his Twitter about the situation with Janelle, David. But about an hour ago, he made a post, you guys. And this is what his post says. How do you explain marks on my son's back, black eye, whip marks on his rear end, continuous police investigations, charges against David Eason for multiple violence and aggressive behavior, nothing happens. What am I supposed to do besides being a panic parent? Just think about this again for a second. We know a lot of the incidents that have occurred with David. We know how Janelle, when she left him, she filled out this restraining order saying that he was dangerous, that her nor the kids could be around him. She went back saying, uh, when she went back, she basically said that that was, that she embellished a little bit, basically like, oh no, he's not, he's not a danger. I just said that to get the protective order. Even though we've seen a lot of his behavior seems to be controlling, it seems to be dangerous. Nathan is saying, he is asking, how do you explain marks on my son's back, black eyes, whip marks on his rear end? So is this something else that's happened recently. We do know that today is Kaiser's birthday. If you follow Janelle on social media, today on Instagram, she put up a video of them singing happy birthday to Kaiser. And of course, David was there. He was the one, you know, bringing the cake to the table for Kaiser. Nathan was not present because Janelle cannot get along with Nathan uh, in order to have Nathan present at Kaiser's birthday party, which is really funny because last year, if you guys can remember, Last year, Nathan had custody of Kaiser, had temporary custody of Kaiser because uh, CPS had actually taken the kids away from David and Janelle due to the nugget incident. So Nathan had custody of Kaiser this time last year and guess who got invited to Kaiser's birthday party? Janelle and David. Not just Janelle, but David as well. And last year when people was questioning Nathan about this and his decision to invite them, he said, Kaiser really wanted his mother to be there, and I knew that Janelle would not come without David, so I done what I felt was best for my kid. I knew he wanted his mother there. I knew she would not come without David, so I invited them both. Last year, they were all there. We saw pictures of Barb there, of David, Nathan. You know, they were both like putting up a tent or something together, and everyone got to be there. This year, no. Kaiser is back with Janelle, and Nathan's not invited to Kaiser's party. And on the same day of Kaiser's birthday party, just an hour ago, Nathan is tweeting about his son coming to his house repeatedly with marks on his back, black eyes, marks on his rear end. He talks about the charges against David, the continuing uh, investigations that have been placed against him, the violence, the aggressive behavior. He talks about all that. People start talking to him, asking him, do you need help? Like, do you need help to get a lawyer? What is it going to take? And he says that no one is hearing what he has to say about this. And he actually asks Columbus County, and he says, they will not help me. Social services tried their hardest, but no one listened. It makes me realize that there is something wrong with the justice system. Um, so people, like I said, they're asking, what is it going to take, Nathan? What do you need us to do? 
Can you get an attorney? Is there some kind of children advocacy group that you can look into? Um, a lot of people is advising him take pictures every time Kaiser comes over, get pictures of him. If he has a black eye, if he has a bruise, get a picture of it, document it, and do what you can. People's telling him to file for emergency custody, which you guys, I don't know, but I know in the state that I live in, it's extremely hard for um, a mother to lose rights to their children. I'm talking extremely hard. Now, in this case, to me, it looks like this case would be a slam dunk if the judge was to just look at everything that has happened um, since Janelle has just been with David. We've seen a lot. If she, if, the, if someone would just talk to Kaiser, because Kaiser has said before that he's scared of David. You see it when he's around David. Uh, so I'm blown away by this. This happened just an hour ago that he's tweeting this, you guys. It makes me wonder, has something else happened? Did he get his son today after the birthday party and was something else going on? Was there marks on him that, you know, he explained that it to be David or were they unexplained? Did it happen today or is he just talking in general that this has happened so much and nothing's been done? Because people are asking, what does Nathan have to say about this? What What is he doing to protect his son? You guys, there used to be a hashtag, hashtag save Kaiser. I think that needs to become a thing again because um, with the situation that's going on over at the land, Janelle is back there. She's working on some thing that she's got going on, Janelle's world, where she's going to open up. She's going to have this web page and it's going to be like exclusive content for people that pay to see her life. She's going to vlog every day and you have to pay to get it. Um, she's put a little, a few like vlogs on her Instagram that to me, it seems like it's probably examples of what she's got coming out. Um, but I, I don't, I don't know you guys. I'm just, obviously Nathan is worried. He's concerned, but he feels like he cannot do anything because he has done, he's went to, you know, CPS and they can't even do anything when they advise the judge that the kids do not need to go back, what does the judge do? The judge hands them right back over to David and, and Janelle. This is really disheartening to see a father not be able to do anything about what's going on with his son. You leave me your thoughts. If I find anything else out, I'll be sure to hop on here and let you guys know. You guys leave me your thoughts about the situation in the comment section below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone. Oh,